Now, even though she doesn't feel well, people tell her she looks radiant. One La Crescenta mom explains what's literally taking her breath away and how her family is stepping up to help her find a cure. My wife looks great. Christine Cruz Munda often receives compliments on her glowing skin. Oh, your skin is so beautiful. Um, what's your makeup? And then I say, no, I'm sick. But if only people knew, the one thing that makes her so beautiful is also killing her. Why? Because it's an overproduction of collagen and it's getting into her lungs and she's actually dying. It all started six years ago when Christine was three months pregnant with their second child. I would cough out like coughing out a lung. And she began spotting. We're giving you the option to, to abort. You know, neither of us wanted to hear that. They were grateful their daughter, Elle, made it to full term. But the coughing didn't stop. It just kept going. <coughs> Doctors prescribed allergy medications and antibiotics, none of which worked. About three years later, my husband demanded a chest x-ray. And that's when they were hit with the news of a disease they had never heard of. I dropped my jaw. Nobody knew what it was, and that was the first thing that came out of sclera. What? Christine has the fatal form of a disease called scleroderma, which in her case is attacking her organs. The fatality, they said, can happen probably about 10 years after you get diagnosed. It's like cobwebs inside my lungs, and it's fuzzy, and it's white. Scleroderma comes from the word sclero, meaning hard, and derma, meaning skin. It's an autoimmune rheumatic disease that affects a person's connective tissue, and 300,000 Americans suffer from it. Because my kids are so young, I wanted to know how much time I have with them, what else I can do. I just don't know if I'll have ever enough time to finish everything with them. When she isn't working or receiving chemo treatments, Christine spends as much time as she can sharing her love of art with her kids and selling her art on Etsy to pay for experimental medicines. And equipment like these glasses that transport oxygen from this generator to her lungs. I'm only at 32% of my lung capacity. Time is not on Christine's side. We don't say mommy only has this much time to live because no one gives us uh, an expiration date. I have not told them the, the chances of this disease being fatal. It breaks my heart to tell them. It's time to step out to find a cure for scleroderma. We need your help to find a cure for our mommy. But the kids are well aware that the videos they post to YouTube and the events they participate in help to raise awareness that will help find a cure for their mom's disease. There was one day that my daughter asked me, Mommy, have they found a cure for scleroderma yet? And I said, no, not yet. That's why we're walking. And we want to let people know. And she said, then how are you going to get better? And it just made my heart break. Despite the heartbreak and pain she suffers, Christine remains optimistic about a cure with her devoted husband by her side and the lessons of perseverance they're instilling in their children. But slowly, as they get older, I want to tell them more about it so they can also spread the awareness. I want them to know that, you know, you don't have to give up. The Munda family will be stepping out to cure scleroderma this Sunday in Van Nuys in hopes of raising awareness of the disease. If you'd like to make a donation or learn more, just go to cbsla.com. Click on Scene on TV.